Hi there YouTube, out for the first wee raid on the NC700X, Abigail to you and me, and yes it feels extraordinarily weird, basically because I've been riding a, a Harley Davidson Rocker C for the past two years, but before that I used to ride Triumph Speed Triples and a Yamaha XGR 1300 which is all pretty much sit up and beg stuff, a little bit like this. So it shouldn't take me too long to get used to it. But as you can see, I'm out on wet roads. This is a new experience for me. I'm generally a fair weather beggar. Anyway, feels good. Seating position's great. Pegs are a little bit further back than I would like. But apart from that, position is fantastic. You're not quite pulled up, right? You slid forward a little bit on the shoulders, but that actually feels stable. The bars are a perfect width for me. The seat, uh, I'm not entirely sure what kind of material they use to cover this seat, but it's very, very slippy. And if you hammer on, hammer on the brakes, which, to be completely honest, I tend to do on bikes like this. Um, you'll go sliding forward into the tank. Which isn't a good thing when you're a gentleman. She picks up quite good. Not too bad. It's been a long, long time since I've ridden the mid-range engine bike. I've been on thousands and above for decades now. Well, this is good, this is fine, I like it. Power delivery is a little bit slow, but I think you have to expect that. It's only a twin. She red lines at 6,500. But as far as I can tell so far, that gives it quite good torque delivery right the way through each gear, which is good. I mean, this is meant to be a bad weather bike for myself to use in traffic, so you don't need a whole lot of rev range. Uh -huh. Front brakes seem really competent. I'm a 100% front brake on myself. I rarely use the back. But this does have uh, uh, ABS. And apparently, if you use the front brake, and automatically it gives you a little percentage on the rear, as far as I understand it. I'm not that technically minded, so please bear with me. Um, the balance of the bike seems lovely. All the way, with the engine blows along the way it is, the pistons are basically in line with the ground, give or take a couple of degrees. So all the weight of this thing is right low to the ground, which gives a great maneuverability. You can really fling this thing around. But at the same time, there's a strange feeling of this bike wanting to actually stand up straight. Um, which is a little bit contrary to what I was expecting with such a low weight bike. But, again, that's not too much of a bad thing. Uh, when you try and lay it down on the corners, you have to put a little bit more work in than I'm used to, but that's fine, that's all right. Uh, what else, what else? The dash is nice. Uh, it's a lovely day today, but the sun is absolutely burning straight in my eyes. I can barely see a thing. But the display is really crystal clear. I like the digital display. I like the slide track for the rev count. That's one thing I do miss on the Harley. I like to know what the rev range I'm in. haven't really been able to wind it up yet 
a lot. I want to get used to the feel of the thing before I start throwing it around. Uh, this is the first raid. But so far it's good. The, the engine seems like it works a lot. I'm assuming that's because it's... Uh, only got a short rev range. Um, it's not the sweetest sounding bike in the world. I'll be completely honest. But it's a workhorse. It's a, it's a to-do bike. It's not a bike that you buy with your, your heart, really, I don't think. I think you buy this thing with your head. If you have things to do, like commuting on the lake, then this is the perfect bike, I think. It looks beautiful to me. Uh, it's risen up a little bit like an off-roader, which I don't fully understand, but it does give it a good, a good profile. Um, one disappointment, there doesn't seem to be any suspension adjustment at all, which is a crying shame, because I do like to tweak my rides. <laughs> Um, oh. Triumph Speed Triple, the original Triumph Speed Triple, I don't know about the new ones, uh, had fully adjustable suspension. And my previous bikes of that ilk, I adjusted to suit me perfectly. And I had never ever ridden any other bikes that felt so confidence inspiring. And that's then those Triumph Speed Triples with suspension suited perfectly to myself. But again, this is not a let's be crazy bike. This is a purpose bike. This is a oh, let's do everything very competently bike. And I think it does. I think this is going to work perfectly for myself. Work very well in traffic. Might have to jump up and down the gears a little bit, but 
once you find your sweet spot for the pace that's going she just sits there and works it's very nice very easy ride this is exactly what this thing was made for I think She does take a corner very nicely when you commit to it. I think once I get used to this bike, I'm actually going to have a lot of fun. Anyway, that's my very first impression, so I'm sure I'll have more. But thanks for dropping in. Thanks for having a watch. I appreciate it. I'll catch you all later.